Hi guys. So after prayer, um, holding my favorite book. Sorry, this way. <laughs> I opened on to Psalm 68, and it's a psalm of wonderful praise. So, shall we read it together? Psalm 68. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Sing to God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound in prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in dry land. O God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, Sila, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, and God of Israel. You, O oh God, send a plentiful rain whereby you confirmed your inheritance when it was weary. Your congregation dwelt in it. You, O oh God, provided from your goodness for the poor. The Lord, gave, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Kings of armies flee. They flee. And she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie down among the sheepfolds, you will be like the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was as white it was white as snow in Zalman. A mountain of God is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of many peaks is the mountain of Bashan or Bashan. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. You have ascended on high. You have led captivity captive. 